good morning and welcome to another weekly vlog it is currently five in the morning and i am leaving washington we're walking in the airport literally right now and there's an opportunity for me to get a 400 dollars credit if i change my flight <laughs> And it's only a nine stop flight, and I'm not on another stop flight. Sign me up, please. I just made it to the Chicago airport for my connecting flight. I am tired. A. I was knocked out on that plane, honey. It don't owe me nothing. But this is what I want to say. When the plane lands and we get to the little, I guess, gate. Why? People be standing up. Baby, if you're in the back of the plane, just sit down. Like... You're not gonna go nowhere. You gotta let everybody else off first. Why is you standing up? Okay, y'all, let me see where the hell I'm going. Okay. Whew. My job, I'm supposed to be running right now. Like, my plane is literally boarding like right now. I ain't got it in me, I'm too tired. They gonna have to wait. They know we had a connected flight, so. Okay. And it looks like I got a fall walk. Girl, no ma'am. We made it. We made it. Thank you. Literally right on time. All right, guys, we are back at our car. I'm about to get on this disgusting elevator, but I am tired, boss. I'm tired. <sighs> Hopefully, my car is okay. I'm about to order me some Panera bread because it's close by and there's none near me. Y'all look at this elevator. Baby, just, just get up. But it was cheap. Got my car and I was gone. Okay. Um, I'll see y'all at Monero. Hey y'all. So it has been brought to my attention that I need to do a little quick story time, okay? So what happened at the restaurant in DC to where I had to get the up out of there, okay? So let's start off this. I got the restaurant recommendation from someone on TikTok. It was a TikToker who said these are the best top five restaurants in DC. I immediately saw the ambiance and I looked at the menu and I was like, okay, this, this looks like a winner, winner chicken dinner. So we went with this restaurant. I did not thoroughly vet the restaurant. I went straight off of the whole TikTok vibes. We'll never do that again. Um, so we get there and as soon as we get there, they sit us next to a bar, which is equivalent to being next to the kitchen because of how the bar was set up. Let's just imagine like we're sitting here and then this is the bar and then like, there's an opening to the bar so this is what this door is here is the opening to the bar literally so we're sitting just like this imagine me sitting here and my door right here is the bar so that was red flag number two i mean red flag number one red flag number two was we were super close to the couple next to us so now let's just say here's the bar and then here's the couple next to us that this pillow right here 
not even that much space and I'm not over exaggerating and I hope I have some type of clip to show y'all I doubt it but I'll see if I have some type of clip but red flag number two okay uh, red flag number three is that it is giving dirty mop water we wipe the tables down with a dirty damp fabuloso soak rag okay it gave all type of disgusting feels it gave like um new orleans in the middle of a humid summer to the point where you want to go take a shower that's what i mean like it gave so like I, oh my god i gotta get out of here i want to get a shower now it wasn't dirty but it just gave that vibe and it just no so then me and my friend were like let's just push through let's just order a drink let's just do this mind you this is a luxury um restaurant so as my friend is like okay let's get a drink we order a drink the drink is terrible terrible honey like her drink terrible my drink terrible we wind up saying okay let's still order food we order the food but then the couple next to us food come out and the things that they order is pretty much what we're about to order when i tell you that food looked disgusting like literally it was supposed to be this 14 karat gold steak girl, girl that steak looked like something fresh out the chop house okay literally they slaughtered the animal and just threw it there it went like the girl ordered well done and it get rare bloody i don't know it's just the fries looked a little soggy i was just like mm -mm. mind you this is a luxury restaurant so we're gonna probably pay a hundred or more dollars so as we're talking about it how we're feeling and things a couple next to us so close they're so close that they can hear us but they don't understand that we can hear them too so they're talking about how bougie we are and how we should go back to louisiana it's a black couple mind y'all a heterosexual couple so a boy and a girl um how bougie and we are and maybe we too bougie for the vibes and da 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 yes yes i'm too bougie i'm way too bougie for this i'm way too bougie to spend money my hard-earned money at a place where i do not feel comfortable if that is bougie and my i don't care i don't mind being called bougie baby sign me up for the bougie-ness bougetto if you're nasty um but girl no i'm not paying my we need to learn as people it is about quality and understanding that i don't have to pay just because it's a luxury restaurant is not a flex i'm sorry i don't care how luxury a place is i'm not spending my hard earned money my hard see i can't even talk i was so mad i'm not spending my hard earned moolah cheddar cheese guap um at no place that i do not feel comfortable and me and my friend both were feeling it at first she thought she was being extra but then when i expressed like as i was trying to like have it, i'm like okay let me just try to catch up because this is my it literally got got to dc and now we're going to dinner so this was my time to catch up with my friend for us to like have an in-person conversation versus a facetime or you know our normal phone calls so as i'm like okay let me try to have a conversation with my friend i'm about to tell her about my little therapy session baby as i'm about to like break down how my love life feelings been going tell y'all about that another time um just know my heart space is very much so open right now and i am ciphering through 20 years of not giving a f about relationships and love and all of the things because i was so hurt early on and then after that too but however i, I was like girl let's get out of here i was like let's cancel the order like let's just cancel the order she was like well, what, should, what we should say when we cancel the order should we say we got an emergency whatever i was like i don't even care i just want to say cancel the order and get me up out of here this is like maybe five or ten minutes after we ordered the order already so they shouldn't have even gotten to it with the cooking it or anything yet so we wait for the waiter my friend is like sorry we have an emergency 
And we have to go now. Like, we have to go now. And so he, like, charges us for a drink and then adds, like, this extra, extra gratuity on it. So the drink wound up being $33. See what I'm saying? Just get me out of here. The drink was already $33. And I probably was going to have two. So that would have been $66 plus the, however much the damn steak was going to be. I think it was, like, $50 or $60. Baby, get me up out of here. Get me up out of here and take me to a new restaurant. We tried to go to Mastro's. Mastro's was like, their kitchen, kitchen was closed. And so then after that, I was like, friend, just bring me to McDonald's. And said a clip y'all saw of me saying, girl, take me to McDonald's. Because I, I cannot. I cannot. So long story short, fully better restaurant if you're going out of town. Don't just take the advice of a TikToker. And if that one TikToker said it, put take that restaurant Type it into the TikTok search and see what other people saying about it as well. Because remember that, it wasn't given. It was not given. And I'm not going to put their name out there because, hey, I don't know. Actually, if you ever planning on visiting D.C., if you're any type of bouge level the, the Nelly Kid is on, don't go to the Mayflower Club. Okay? Rich. All right. Rising. Right. Gang, 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 gang. We are about to work. I have been working all week since I've been back from DC, so I really haven't recorded for you guys because I needed a break. I went in on the last vlog and I can't wait for y'all to see it if y'all haven't seen it already, which I should see that vlog by now. By now, that vlog should be up and I hope you guys loved because I really took my time editing it. Um, and I'm still not, I've already started editing y'all and I'm really taking my time and I'm still not done. Like this video in particular, I know this has taken me way longer than normal, but right now we are, I'm packing me a bag to go work in our favorite room, duh. Um, we have the yogurt, the granola, the coffee, um, and yeah guys, I am allergy down, allergy down, um, but y'all let's go, and I hope I get the room. It's 8.30 right now. I don't have to really start till 9 30 but i'm trying to get this room so let's go we're just gonna be working um i don't know what our weekend will look like hopefully we get to turn up do a little something something i don't know but we'll see okay hey, yeah. <laughs> all right let me set up let's get to work You see a bad bitch coming through when I scroll up? Okay. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, this is announcement is only to the barbs, baby. The barbs, hold, hold on, let me get my Sean on. And that's Sean from Chasing Reality. Y'all know I'm obsessed with Chasing Reality. And if y'all don't know I'm obsessed with Chasing Reality, now you know. Baby, when I tell you Nikki has been giving us barbs what we need, this has been a Nicki Minaj 2023 along with a little Ice Spizzle, okay? Because Ice Spizzle is doing her thing and Miss Nikki is doing her thing. The way she hopping on these songs, the, the way I'm getting a new song every month, <laughs> Sometimes two songs in one month. Oh, 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 oh. Nikki, what did we deserve? What did we do to deserve this, Nikki? Like, like, baby, the barbs are fed. And all you other fan groups, don't be worried about the barbs, okay? Because we good. We eating. What y'all doing? Hmm? I'll wait. I'll wait. Should I be petty? No, I'm not going to be petty. But you know, actually the queen's last name is Petty, so maybe I'll, I'll give y'all a little pettiness. Oh, hey, any other girls right now? We're almost halfway through the year. Nikki has dropped heat after heat after heat. Where y'all faves at? Oh, all right. Don't play with the barbs, please. Thank you. It has truly been a pink Friday. Every Friday. 
She said it, she called it, she done it. All right, I'm out. All right, it is lunchtime. I'm grabbing some lunch. And then I'm going back to work, y'all. This is closed week. It has already started. Today is the what? End of the, it's the end of the month. It's in May already. Can y'all believe we're already in June? What? Oh, it's ghetto. Oh, what's up, y'all? It's Yoga Saturday. We're headed into the yoga class now. I'm walking in. to do all my little errands and I'm still not done I still need to edit but this whole list for the most part is done um I need to finish editing you guys for this week's weekly post I was gonna like just try to film myself got Sunday and rush and try to do all of the things I'm not I'm not so there will not be a self-care Sunday by the time y'all see this Y'all will already notice there was no self care Sunday, but I may do the weekly vlog again on Sunday instead of the self care Sunday, so y'all could at least have something. And then we're gonna get back on routine when I can get back on routine. Um, I love that my channel is small right now, so that I can give myself all this grace and breaks and figure things out and learn new tips and tricks and try to figure out how I want my schedule to be and all of the things. So I am grateful for that, but. Maybe there's no excuse. Small channel or not. You gotta be on your schedule pool. Um, we also did a study group with my book club group. Um, and that helped me realize how long it takes me to edit. It takes me way longer than I was thinking. I was thinking editing only makes me two hours. Editing takes me like four to six hours. So, we, we're adjust. Right now it's an adjustment period. And it's a period of figuring things out. And it's a period of... Getting in my back in my bag. Getting my body back to LA and all out of the East Coast. Cause my body haven't fully caught up back up with LA yet. So for the rest of the day, y'all, I'm about to take time to myself. I'm being selfish. I need to get in my bag. I'm gonna take me some shroom tea. I'm about to edit. I'm about to, you know, um, I'm probably gonna cook me something to eat later. Yeah. So I'm signing off for the rest of the day. Sorry, y'all. I'll be back, though. I'll be back. Ah, hey, y'all. It is Sunday, Monday. About to go outside. Eh, 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 eh. Go outside. Ho. Go outside. Ho. Go outside. Ho. Go outside. Ho. Okay. We about to go outside with one of our neighbors. We met at the Cinco de Mayo event that y'all saw I went to. Um, it's my first time hanging out with her. She seems like an amazing vibe. I feel like it's going to be a good time. So let's just go have a good time. I don't know how the camera situation is going to be. But I'm going to try to have y'all there with me. 
Cause I need my friends with me, period. <laughs> made it home and she tipped on rich rising my love bugs um i am about to go to therapy then i'll be working all day it is clothes week so i need to figure out when it's clothes week how do we vlog do i better prepare do i have a video on already but i literally will be sitting here till probably nine o'clock tonight it is 8 o'clock and what, 7.57 to be exact right now. So, I won't be doing shit, but then, shout out to the day off yesterday, but I slept. So, um, girl, boy, yeah, have a rich day. Oh, my God, y'all not gonna believe what? We have been having a day. Meet my friend Becca. <laughs> I always tell y'all about the book club all the time. Okay, per <laughs> silly cup. It's silly cup. <laughs> we did it. We have been having a good day. We're on the beach. It's giving a vibe. Um, let me show y'all. So beautiful. Breathtaking. We're just about to relax. 
and vibe. This is not a camera day. <laughs> just a little bit. Just, just, just a snippet. A but I need a moment to myself. <laughs> but I just wanted y'all to see Becca. Hi, Bye. babies. Be happy. Get your money. Yeah. You doing shows, fucking honey. Yeah. And videos, count hundreds, yeah. Ain't this everything you wanted? Yeah. Yeah. Ain't this everything you wanted? Yeah. Ain't this everything you wanted? I decided to walk and catch the Ferris wheel. Period. <laughs> and it's an enjoyable walk so far. But I'm out of breath. <laughs> um. I'm enjoying it so much I literally have nothing to say. I'm just being honest. Just fine. You want a quest, but you always scream at bread. I be standing up like a man. Kenneth ain't they camp, so I'm just being man. Legs spread on like cancer. Oh, we want the dudes. Oh, we want the dudes. Ah, yes. It looks like today must be your lucky day. For I see relaxation in your future. I have no worries about your troubles, my friend. Zoltar has wisdom enough to conquer them all. You guys! I look like a brownie. And she's barely giving any color. <laughs> the lighting is not in. 